Armagh versus Cavan. Well, the only uh, thing, <laughs> where do you go with that? Uh, Armagh once again a very disappointing league campaign, um, relegated down to Division Three the first time in, in over twenty years that they've played in that division. And you know, Cavan on the other hand have come up from Division Three up up to Division Two. But you know, league form goes out the window when it comes to the championship. And you know, Armagh will have revenge on their on their minds when when it comes to playing Cavan um, after their defeat last year. And I suppose the beauty about it is, from Armagh's point of view, is that it is a home tie. It is a tight pitch, though, in the athletic grounds, and it's a, the type of pitch that might suit Cavan. Um, when you look at their league final against Roscommon, Roscommon, you know, did spread the ball around a lot in the big op open. How big open a was that to Cavan? The fact they've been down. A lot of people expect them to beat Roscommon in that league final. Yeah, they? and and they got off to a great start, but um, unfortunately they didn't build on that for, for, from their point of view. But Cavan, you know, they will take that with a pinch of salt. You know, as I said earlier on, league form to championship form is two different things. Um, Cavan have won four Ulster under 21 titles on the trot now, and certainly that type of form is bound to come through to the seniors at some stage. We've seen glimpses of it last year, and I expect Cavan to come out on top this year. Don't normally go against my own team, but, you know, um, I think the momentum is currently with Cavan, and they might just come out on top.